welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing the updated version of the deluxe flip accordion tutorial i've talked to a few people that have made them and i asked them i was like do you think i should do an updated one and they said yes because some of the parts were a little bit confusing so that's what i'm gonna do today and i hope that it's better if it's not i'm sorry um but you guys can also dm me on my instagram or comment below any questions anything you have and i will reply as soon as i can but let's get on with the supply so i'm gonna be using a cutting mat i'm using this one Scissors, I use these by Fiskars. A ruler, I use this one by Fiskars. An X-Acto knife, a piece of Ziploc, at least three and a half. I always make mine three and a half, but you can use three and three fourths or four, whatever you want to use. Post-it notes, optional. A piece of ID plastic, I make mine four inches, but you can use top loaders. A card, clear tape and gray tape. Washi tape is optional. And then three rolls of tape. I'm gonna make the coin pouch first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out four pieces that are four inches long. Then to make the coin pouches is very easy. I'm gonna like try to go a little bit more in depth than I did with that other tutorial. Some parts of it I kind of was like, well, if you know how to make an accordion wallet, but I don't know if you guys know how to make it. So you're gonna take your Ziploc and I always leave some plastic on the top. I leave about not even half of an inch. So I'm going to take one of my pieces of my tape and I'm going to overlap it onto the plastic and leave some tape on the sides but I'm not going to touch the Ziploc because it will interfere with the closing. So it should look something like this. And then you're going to fold it over to make a flap, which I usually make mine a little bit more than a fourth of an inch, but not quite half an inch. And then you're going to stack it up to be three inches tall, or in my case, three squares. Now you're going to take them and flip them over. You're going to lay one in front of you and then one you're going to be using right now. To lay a piece of tape on the bottom part right here, overlapping it, but leaving some tape right here as well, which I'll show you guys more what it looks like because it's kind of confusing. Cut off another half of an inch and cover the little sticky parts on each side of my Ziploc. that you have the maroon tape on stick it to your mat and then take your other piece and leave just a little bit of sticky in between you want it to have basically nothing but you still want to be able to fold it put it right underneath the ziploc but don't touch the ziploc Now this is optional. I'm gonna go ahead and clear tape this. You don't have to do this, but it does help whenever you have coins in your wallet. Now you're just going to fold your coin pouch in half and make sure that the Ziploc zips. Now once you have it zipped, you can notice if you did it the way I did, I left a little bit of tape on the sides. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut them off. Now this is another very optional thing. I'm going to clear tape the seams on the outside of the coin pouch. Zip your coin pouch back up. Whatever color your coin pouch is, piece that is three and a fourth inches long. Cut that in half, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then add it to the size, just overlapping a little bit. And then once you have one side, you're just going to flip it over and make sure that these two pieces right here do not touch. And you're going to unzip your coin pouch and fold the tape into it. And then you can open it and close your ziplock to make sure that it's strong and you can lay this to the side. You're going to take the same color as your coin pouch. In my case, it is your sage. Two pieces that are 12 inches long. cut them to be six inches long so now you have four pieces that are six inches long 
take one piece so you're going to fold it in half you're going to line it up i always put my other finger down on the bottom piece of tape just to help me out and you're going to put them together i always flatten out this first and then i take my finger and just run it over it you're going to go ahead and attach your expandables to your coin pouch so you're going to make a piece of tape that is six inches long of your clear tape you're going to cut it in half and horizontally you're going to take a rounded side of your expandable you will know that it is rounded if you can run your finger and not fill a seam so this side is not rounded but this side is and you're going to take the rounded side and face it upwards to the opening of the coin pouch so you're going to lay a little bit of tape on the side i always run my card over it so that it's just easier to get the air bubbles out and then you're going to add it to your coin pouch just run the air bubbles out i do my expandables is i clear tape the seam right here as well so it's very optional to do the four pieces but I like to do it so that it clear tapes it and make your wallet a lot more durable. Now, once you have your expandables on, you're going to take your same color as your coin pouch and you're going to make a piece that is three and a half inches long. And you're going to cut that in half. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to overlap it again, you're going to fold it over. But you're going to make sure that these two pieces of tape do not touch. Once you have that, you're going to cut. I'm going to have to like bring you guys a little bit closer. So what I do is I cut in an angle to where it gives me like a triangle out. I know it's really confusing, but you're going to start where the coin pouch is and just make a v out of it you have two little triangles to fold in to make this right here rounded and now you can lay this to the side now you're going to make your panel for your car pockets so you're going to take a piece of gray tape that is a little bit more than three and three fourths and then you're going to stack Another piece, which is going to be your pattern tape, top to be three and a half inches tall. Flip it over, cover the sticky almost all the way with whatever color your coin pouch is. And you're going to line it up with the inch line and then put another piece of tape at the inch line, the three inch line, so that you have a half of an inch to fold over. like this and you're going to fold that over to make a rounded panel now you're going to cut the excess off of the sides take your clear tape and just clear tape the seams right here to lay this to the side now you're going to make your card pocket piece of gray tape that is a little bit more than three three fourths then i'm going to take my coin pouch color again overlap your car pocket color to be onto the gray tape so that when you pick up the gray tape they're both attached cover the back clear tape So you should have something like this, a car pocket, and it's facing downwards with the piece of tape at the bottom. To do that one more time. Your trim color or the opposite color of your coin pouch. Two pieces that are four inches long. You're going to trim your car pockets. You can lay your trim on the first dot and trim it like that. Oh, so your trim should look like that. I don't do my trims the way I told you guys you can do it, but I plan on doing a tutorial soon, so that's why I'm not going to show it in this video. Both of your car pockets trimmed, you're going to lay it on a inch line, clear tape them.
lastly you're going to have two pieces of your trim color left that is where you're going to trim your id and you're going to do it the same way that you did car pocket another piece of your trim color that is four inches long And then the same thing with clear tape. And this is how I make my half short, half V pocket. So you're going to start at the edge of the clear tape and line your ruler up to the middle, which is right here. You're going to cut directly to the middle, but that's where you stop. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Fourth inch line. You're going to fold over your trim color and add a piece of tape to the bottom. I just used some scotch tape. Put it to the bottom part of your pocket at the sharp point so you're going to cut right there at that point in the middle where the v is and then another one at the same sharp point on the other. i fold the sides down and yes i cut my finger while making this so feel loved guys you can get your panel back again with some washi tape put the car pockets about half of an inch down you're just going to leave a little bit of room in between the car pockets your half short half v to clear tape the sticky in the bottom of the car pockets the big washi tape to hold down everything Cut the excess tape from the bottom and the sides off. I'm going to trim the sides and the bottom. I always start with the bottom. Cut a piece that is four inches long of my pattern tape. I'm going to trim a half of an inch trim to the bottom of my panel. I'm going to cut another piece that is three and three fourths inches long. Cut that in half. And then you're going to trim the sides. I always trim them a little bit less than a half of an inch, but it's up to you 100%. So once you're done with everything, you should have something that looks like this. I fold out all of the expandables. I add the coin pouch directly to the bottom, fold it over to where this is sticking on to the back go ahead and cover that sticky because you will have sticky if you don't and you're just going to fold your expandables just like you would an accordion wallet if you don't know then this video will help you and you're going to fold them up this piece of tape back down fold the pieces of tape onto the expandables that And for the excess tape at the top, you're going to just fold that in to make a rounded edge. You are done with this part. You said it's nine and three fourths inches long. You use such a big piece for the stripe. I just usually cut about half mine off. You're going to lay your pocket color tape on top to make it four squares high. And now you're going to take some clear tape and just clear tape your stripe down. any tape on the side you're just going to cut that down fold this piece over cover it with your pattern tape and leave at least a half of an inch on all sides clear tape the seam fold it over exacto knife and cut at an angle fold this piece over and cut it to be a half of an inch cut the sides off and up this part with a inch line your ruler the three inch line you know you have a three inch flap now you're going to go ahead and add the id so you're just going to do the same cuts at the bottom and you're going to place your id at the very bottom you're going to fold up that tape onto the id and fold it back down and cover it with clear tape the sides off as well and then once you know that you have your three inch part up here you're going to cut at an angle downwards and then lift up your ruler and cut this to be half of an inch cut straight across to my id take my card and do the sharp slits which i'll do a video on how i do soon now your wallet looks like this so far so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold your expandables up into expandable form so you're going to fold them on to each other line your expandables 
up with where you cut and cut upwards to that i know this is super confusing but you're basically just adding your expandables onto it and you can cover the sticky if you want i don't really bother to do it so i'll bring you guys closer so you guys can see what i'm doing so i'm lining it up with the piece that i already had cut and i'm just going to again cut upwards and fold the tape that i just cut onto the expandable put your expandables down and to let this piece of tape down and you will need to cut that down because you don't need that much on it <laughs> once you have that you're going to cut a triangle out of the sides like this and just fold those pieces of tape over these pieces you're just going to fold them over onto themselves and you're done that I made. I haven't added Velcro yet. I literally just got done with it. So it is the I cut tie dye on the outside. Seams are clear taped with Eurosage and Varun. And then it has the two car pockets, the short with the ID. And I haven't cut the other slits, but you need to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me down below if it helped you guys out. And I will see you guys in my next video.